I'm Joey Boche and I'm the executive assistant. Andrews Boatin. Jeffrey Kwema. Nana Ekuya Fosia Intu. Wahineba Kofinti. Michael Osaikese. Farouk Al Hassan. My name is Salamati Mahmoud. Harriet Akwa. Imano Atitiati, HSNE coordinator, Baker Hughes, Ghana Limited. These people are in the right place at the absolutely the best time. It's a fantastic time to be in Ghana. James McDougall is managing director of Baker Hughes, a company at the forefront of bringing oil to Ghana. Everyone has a great deal of anticipation around this project. The excitement is palpable, the concern and the interest from all aspects are significant. It's a very exciting time for us, for the project and for Ghana. It's a very exciting time. with us to the company's headquarters in downtown Houston, Texas, USA. We have 35,000 employees in 72 countries around the world. In addition to those 72 countries where we have uh, offices, we actually do operations in a total of about 90 countries. Baker Hughes has been around since 1907. Uh, we celebrated our 100 year anniversary uh, in 2007, just a few years ago. Uh, Baker Hughes is now a global uh, oil field service provider, very proud of our, our company. We provide drilling and evaluation, completion and production, and fluid and chemicals uh, to operators around the world. What we do is we provide all the downhole hardware to complete the wells. It's basically all the plumbing to take it from the reservoir to put it at the surface. The reservoir is what uh, these operators are drilling the wells for. So we, we've got to protect the reservoir during the time while we're drilling it uh, and make sure that we optimize the completion so that we can get the most out of that reservoir. So when you advance the reservoir, not only are we looking for maximum production rate, we're also looking for life sustainability. And that's the way we have designed the completion. The Fort Tullow and the Jubilee field is maximum production rates, maximum sustainability. Recognizing their expertise, it was Cosmos, the finders of Ghana's oil, who brought Baker Hughes to Ghana. They asked us to put together a well test package to go test the well to see how well it produces. Uh, we did that in early 2008. We took the data from that, went straight into the development in late 2008. So it was a very quick startup, very fast track. We had to fast track our people, our base, delivery of our equipment. We had to accelerate that beyond normal delivery schedules. Uh, make sure we had the right people, the right equipment at the right time. The infrastructure to support an oil industry was non-existent at the time, and they had to start from scratch. We started up a base in Takarati. Uh, it took us about a year to get it started up. Um, we took four warehouses, converted them into a fit-for-purpose operational base for us. Full pressure test facility, torque facilities, everything. Uh, had to bring in our IT infrastructure, uh, all the logistics, trucking, everything we needed, we had to bring in. So we got it all set up in a year. We're operational now. It's looking good. Takarati is where what we like to say is rubber hits the road. This is where the action really happens. We're down to the microns. Everything now has such tight tolerances, everything has to fit perfectly, and everything has, has uh, a, a whole range of, of setting adjustments and so on. Everything's got to fit perfectly together and everything has to last for a very long time. Quality is everything out in the field, where men and machines face the industry's most extreme technical challenges. High pressure, high temperature, and very deep water. With the oil and gas becoming in shorter and shorter supply, people are looking at environments that are more difficult, deeper, hotter, and more challenging. So we're currently evaluating reservoirs right up into 400 Fahrenheit. Just think about your oven at 400 Fahrenheit, sitting with your equipment in there full time, plus at 40,000 PSI. We're talking an extreme environment. And a costly one too. Operating a rig like this costs over $1 million a day. And that's just the beginning. 
Baker Hughes spends over $500 million a year, or another $1.3 million a day, on research and development. And it all happens here, at the Center of Technological Innovation, the CTI, in Houston. This is a research facility. Uh, we focus on innovation and developing new technology. Uh, when you look at uh, the, the products that we're working on, they're not uh, for two years or three years, they're for five, six, seven, eight years into the future and beyond. Research and development is not something you can start on and off periodically. It's a long-term commitment to the future. And it takes investment because the engineers we hire today are going to be developing tools for the future. You're trying to build product that lasts 15, 20 years. Um, and that's something that's always industry. How do you make it better? How do you make it more reliable? And that's our daily challenge. The center employs over 600 people, amongst them scientists, researchers, engineers, and designers, all involved in a unique process that sees a product taken from concept to manufacture under one roof. We have a wide variety of machines from four axis to five axis to homes to turning centers. And that gives us a lot of capability to make small parts that are simple to large parts that are highly complex, lengths of 10 to 15 feet long. The parts are made on the machines and then they're inspected to the engineering drawings. And after the machine from the engineering drawings, they're checked by the quality control department in addition to the machinist. And this is where experience really counts. I mean, any company can go out and buy a lot of sophisticated equipment, um, but it's the people that have the expertise, the technical backgrounds, and the ability to produce these high quality products every single day. Um, this, that experience is very hard to find. The average level of experience here is 15 years. The more experience you have, the more knowledge that you bring to the company. Uh, we, have, we have vast experience here with all of the individuals that we have. Nothing is left to chance. Testing is a critical part of the process. Building, testing, refining, repeating the test. Because end of the day, we want to make sure the product that goes out to the field in our customers' well is reliable. These are the test bays, and the process is rigorous. We try to simulate as close as possible the conditions down the hole in our test facilities. The uniqueness about this particular center is it's got test labs designed to pressure test equipment at 40,000 PSI at 700 degrees F. So right there tells you that this facility was not built for today. It was built for products to be developed in the future. Last, but certainly not least, is the Beacon Center, a powerful remote monitoring system allowing Baker Hughes real-time access to data from its wells located anywhere in the world, onshore or offshore. We monitor drilling operations. We also monitor uh, active production. Up top is an FPSO vessel that is producing from a central gathering system and that is connecting uh, four different manifolds each with about six or seven wells on it. So we staff experts in that beacon center and they communicate with the rigs. So if an issue comes up, they're calling back yeah, to those experts and asking them for support. A parliamentary delegation is here to inspect the facilities. Now that we are in the completion mode, uh, we think that Baker Hughes is an important partner for the, the contractors, that is TOLO. They have a lot of technology and innovations. So with an R&D budget of $500 million a year, then you know the kind of technology that they bring uh, to the world in oil and gas services. And it's not just technology that Baker Hughes brings to Ghana. Wherever in the world they work, the company is committed to recruiting and developing local talent. Baker Hughes is a diverse art organization and we focus on bringing in local employees. That brings value not only to Baker Hughes, but also to the people of Ghana. It's a blessing to be working for a company that cares about its employees and is committed to training them. Baker Hughes understands that a competent workforce translates into a company that is efficient at what it does. Those of us who came early to start, we are so much amazed of the numbers that we've built so far. Because uh, within a couple of months that we started, we have almost about 50 Ghanaians working for the company. And that's very amazing. Our managers tell us that they are so happy because they find the quality of graduate they need in Ghana. The quality of the talent force is great. We've hired geologists. We've hired petroleum engineers, we've hired 
a geophysist, we've hired reservoir engineers, we've hired a broad range of people that can do the, the, the different aspects of Baker Hughes. What's the temperature uh, right now? You have to also analyze it. Let's meet some of them. Field engineers Benedict Norte and John Quashi in discussion with colleagues on the other side of the world in Scotland made possible by the Beacon Center in Takrade. That's extraordinary technology. That is what Baker Hughes is noted for. We had the number one in the world. Life in Baker Hughes is not just a job or work, it's a career. You come over here and you come face to face with state-of-the-art technology and it builds up your confidence a lot because it bridges the gap between the theory and the on-the-job training. I've been enrolled in an engineering development program. Um, it's for graduate engineers. It's a three-year program under the tutelage of uh, very competent and experienced mentors and uh, supervisors. They are eager to learn. You teach them one thing and, 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 and they get it. I have no problem with them whatsoever. They have nothing to hold them back. I didn't know anything. I went in confused because I didn't know what was expected of me. But I came out confident that I can actually work in where I find myself right now. They are really committed because Becca Hughes everywhere in Ghana, uh, everywhere over the world is one. Becca Hughes in Ghana is the same as Becca Hughes in Aberdeen, is the same as Becca Hughes in Houston. And our major goal is to provide better services to our customers. And wherever we are, we are just representing one company, that is Becca Hughes. I do not doubt the ability of the committed and hard-working Ghanaian to be successful in this industry. Last year, we hired graduates from KNUST, engineering graduates, and we sent them all over the world for training. We sent them to various facilities around the world, different locations, offshore in the Gulf, for example, up in Norway, trained them in Aberdeen. So we moved them around to get a global perspective or what this business is all about. So when they're on their own, they have the appropriate skills and the tools to do the job. And they've come back with flying colors. So yes, I believe in the ability of the Ghanaian to be successful in this industry, which requires knowledge of advanced. Position is about hitting the mark, the same place, the same time, every time. Before anybody can pick something, out of the market, you, everybody looks at quality. And we as a company believe that we must give and match performance in the market. We must be that competitive in everything we do. They've taken me to a different level in my career as a professional facility manager and it means a lot to me. It took me years even to get to where I was, but within the last three or so months, they've added a lot to my knowledge about the profession I find myself in, and I believe it's a wonderful thing. Well, it makes me feel really confident about being in the company and also being happy with working with Baker Hughes because then I know my interest is being looked at and they are willing to train me to do my best. It's like a dream come true for me now, so I think it's now my time to make sure I make the most out of this opportunity that Baker has offered me. The sky, is, they say, is the limit. And trust me, when you get to the sky, you crack it open and see what exactly is there. That is the kind of tool that Baker Hughes gives to us. We've taken our training seriously, taken all the learning resources seriously. I believe in the next couple of years, you could be talking to me in another capacity, maybe as a Baker Alice product manager. <laughs>